not often a celebrity is tweeting about the Denver Zoo, but people all over the world are flocking to this story. The zoo is supporting Pride Month by featuring two male flamingos in love. Karen Morfitt there tonight. And Karen, you got to meet this now famous couple. And Jim, this really started when zoo staff posted this story on their Facebook page with this weekend's Pride Fest in mind. They had no idea how popular this pair would become here in Denver and across the country. And yes, today we did get a little more background on those birds. I found the birds. The ones we're looking for. It's a flamboyance of flamingos, nearly 80 in total, and here there are two that stand out. They have plenty of choices to choose from, so we can't really control what they choose. This Caribbean flamingo, Freddie Mercury, brought to the zoo in 1970, and Lance Bass, a Chilean flamingo who hatched in Denver in 2001. They are a same sex pair of lovebirds. This happened in 2014 that we started noticing them hanging out and spending a lot of time together. And then we saw them participating in all those courtship behaviors. And then when they finally built that nest, that's when we knew. Bird keeper Brittany Weaver says the male to male pairing, while rare, isn't unique. A bit of a surprise to visitors like Kendall Fleecheck. I had no idea, and I'm a biologist. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so that's pretty neat. And while the bonded birds can't have a chick of their own, they can act as surrogate parents. If there's a genetically valuable chick that we want to ensure its survival, we can kind of swap the chick around and give it to more experienced pairs. As far as those names, Weaver says 14 years with the flock and her passion for music just kind of took over. All the flamingos are named after musicians. These guys, we wanted to, we wanted to name them appropriately for um, their relationship. Freddie Mercury, of course, from Queen. Lance Bass, of course, from the boy band In Sync. He In Sync. He caught wind of the pair and tweeted about it today, saying, "Quote: Best story of the day." Now, the zoo will also be celebrating the LGBT community this weekend during Pride Fest with their True Colors Safari event held on Saturday night. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado first.